Hello, all you beautiful people on YouTube. And yes, I'm talking to you. Okay. First things first. If, like, this comes out really slow and laggy and stuff in the video, I'm sorry, because it's a new webcam, new laptop and everything. And, yeah. So it's kind of awkward. Second, sorry for the two months of not uploading any videos. My other laptop kind of crashed on me, so I didn't have anything to film with. And yeah. Okay. Thirdly, I figured I would celebrate my comeback to YouTube with a I Hate Video 3.0. With a script and everything. That usually doesn't happen. In this beautiful, beautiful folder. Yeah. That was creepy. I am sorry. <laughs> Anyways, this one's going to be a little bit more different than the more recent I Hate videos that I've been doing, just because, well, one, there's a script, and then two, um, I'm doing it all in one take, since I'm not exactly sure if you can edit on here. I have no clue. I've never used the, um, like, on YouTube editor and recorder and shit, so... Anyways, okay. Here we go. In GT1. Alright. You know what I hate? I hate the that awkward moment and the that moment when or anything that like everybody's putting on Facebook or Tumblr or Twitter or anywhere. It's so popular right now. And well that awkward moment has kinda died out a little bit, but not much. Instead, if something is not awkward, they just put that moment when, blah, 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 instead of just saying, oh, hey, guess what happened today? So it gets really, really annoying because everybody puts it on their Facebook status. For the people who put um, that awkward moment when I stub my toe walking by a coffee table or something, people don't have actual awkward moments in it. And that's really annoying, but... Yeah. So if you do that, you piss me off. Just letting you know. Another thing that pisses me off, when people put on their Facebook status or on Twitter, you know, I'm just going to say any social networking site, blah, blah, blah. Um, when they put, oh my god, guys, stop hitting on me, I'm taken. That's annoying. Like, okay, I don't care if, like, probably one person has maybe said hello to them in like a flirtatious funny way and they probably took it as oh my god everybody thinks I'm like so beautiful and oh my god everybody is like so hitting on me when no in reality that's uh you just trying to seem like you are this like attractive ass thing that everybody wants when you're not <sighs> okay Next thing that pisses me off is 7th grade baby bumps. Now, hmm, I can't really say it's just 7th grade. It probably goes all the way up until, like, probably 10th grade where it annoys me. Like, you know what? I don't care. If you get pregnant, that's your fault, your responsibility, all that kind of stuff. But if you are freaking, like, middle school or, like, early high school, then, like, what the hell? Like, you guys probably haven't even had sex ed yet, and you're getting ready to take care of a baby. It's, like, gross, and it gets on my nerves. So, yeah. I'm totally not sorry if this offends anyone, either. I really don't care. Okay, next thing. When people try to sound angry on Facebook, but they use text talk and they spell everything wrong, like, I don't care how aggravated you are, like... Does it, is it really that hard to spell words right or, like, put all the letters in your sentence so that it actually makes sense instead of looking like some alien language from Doctor Who? <sighs> I shouldn't have to decipher a rant. It's ridiculous. Alright, next thing. People who post overly religious pictures on Facebook. Now... 
I don't mind if you're religious. I'm not going to say, oh my god, well, I'm not religious, so I don't want to see any of your bullshit on my page. I really don't care, because, I mean, I can unsubscribe from you, but, like, and I've, oh my gosh, I've unsubscribed from so many people because they do this. It'll be like, share if you believe in God, or repost this if you want to be saved. And then there's this one that I saw recently, and it made me crack up laughing. It's like, new text message from God that says, I love you. Like this if you would reply to it. Yeah, sorry to say I'm not going to be liking that because I would not be replying to somebody who said that they were God because that's kind of freaky seeing as how he's a zombie in the sky. But, you know, whatevs. Another thing, hipster blogs on Tumblr. Hmm. I could literally go on for hours about the things that piss me off on Tumblr, but I think I can probably make an entire other video of that, but here's just some of the major ones. Hipster blogs on Tumblr, and um, when they do follow for follow, or let me promo you. Like, <laughs> that just gets on my nerves because what's the point of you following somebody who you really don't care about just so you can get more followers? Because, more than likely, they're going to end up unfollowing you anyways, because they don't like the stuff that you post. So, honestly, what is the point of even doing it? As for the hipster blog thing, um, that just kind of speaks for itself, I guess. Hipster blogs are really, really fucking annoying. And if you're on Tumblr and you follow all these, I probably want to punch you in your face, especially if you reblog all of this, like... Ugh, I don't even know. It's... I just don't like it. <laughs> I really know. It's so annoying. Alright. This one. Okay. I knew a girl who was like this, and it's really, really annoying. Pregnant women who constantly worry about stretch marks. Like, okay, you can worry about your weight and everything, but if, like, you never say anything about your baby, like, oh yeah, we're getting ready to, like, get stuff for the baby, and we're really excited for him to get here, but then you say, oh my god, this baby better not give me stretch marks. I better be able to look good for bikini season. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You should be worrying about your baby that you're going to be taking care of for the rest of your life instead of your stretch marks. There's creams for that. Good lord. It just gets on my nerves. Oh, and just to clarify, I know babies aren't babies forever. So that was just like a, you know, hello, you're going to have a kid for the rest of your life kind of thing. Anyways, huh, next thing, gossip magazines, and I am definitely not saying that every gossip magazine pisses me off, there's usually a certain stuff in each one, but I'm not saying like the entire thing does. The thing that mostly gets on my nerves is when, like, they post, breaking news, Kardashians are still fucking useless, but hey, the one that's not even, like, of age yet, look it, she dyed her hair blonde. Let's make that breaking news. No, because that's not breaking news, like, at all. The Kardashians are nobodies, don't even get me started on them, oh my god. <sighs> okay, let's see. While I'm thinking about this, too, their clothing line at Sears, I don't even know if it's at any other stores, I don't know, Sears, something. Anyways. Um... I actually ranted to my aunt about this when we were there. Um, like, they have them labeled as, like, tall, curvy, thin, and sexy curvy. <sighs> Why would you have part of your clothing line and then, like, label it as sexy? Like... Because then people will think, oh, well, if I buy these, then I'm sexy curvy. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You can be curvy, whatever. Just don't label yourself sexy curvy. Have confidence. I don't care. I just hate it when people, like, buy this stuff that says uber cute or sexy or, like, juicy or something. If, like, <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm not even making sense on this. It just really pisses me off. You shouldn't have a clothing line and then label it sexy because 
not everybody thinks that you're sexy. I think that Kim Kardashian is a fucking whore. And I fucking hate her, in case you can't tell right now. I really, really hate any of the Kardashians. Whoa, hang on, sorry. <laughs> Screensaver just popped up and it scared the hell out of me. Huh. Anyways, I hate the Kardashians. They're useless. Nobody should label label anything that they make as sexy. There. My point's across now. Another one. Jay-Z and Beyonce. <sighs> <laughs> okay, when they were pregnant, blah blah blah, um, like when they were having Blue Ivy, they trademarked the name, they got a special, like, hospital rules and all this shit, like they had, nobody could come on the floor and, or something like that, and, um, you're not that fucking special. Like, who cares? It's a fucking baby. It's not like... I don't know. Wow, I just totally, like, zoned. I am so sorry. <laughs> Ugh, either way. Just because you are a celebrity does not make your baby better than anybody else's. So she, you should not reserve a fucking room. Not room. Like, a floor on a hospital. Get what I mean here? <sighs> okay, next one. Little kids that grow up too fast. If you are in seventh grade and you're drinking or have dry or have like tried drugs or anything, I literally like want to throw you off a cliff or probably give you a spanking because you've probably have never had one in your entire life. If you were drinking by the time that you're fucking thirteen, oh my god, you are. Ugh. Have fun pumping everybody's gas for the rest of your life. You are gonna become nothing. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, and this is ridiculous. Like, okay, my little cousin is 11? 11. I don't know. She's probably gonna see this and comment, oh my god, I'm 11 or 12, whatever she is. Because <laughs> I always get it wrong. But, um, she, like, has all this, like, Facebook drama, and, like, all of her friends have it, and, like, it's, like, ridiculous. She was on Facebook one day, and apparently somebody had, like, called her fake because she was hanging out with people who go to a different school, and, like, they just had, like, this big issue, and, like, I don't understand, like, come on, <laughs> like, 12-year-olds should be fucking playing with brat dolls, and Barbie dolls, and, like, jump roping or something. Not having Facebook drama. Like, come on now. That's ridiculous. Okay, this one I've been meaning to get done for a while. Teen Mom and the glorification of teen pregnancy. This gets in little girls' heads that, oh, well, if I get pregnant, it's gonna be all nice, and I'm gonna get a TV show out of it, and then I'm gonna get lots of money, and I'm gonna become famous. No, that's not how it is. At all. That just makes you another fucking statistic. <clears throat> oh, this one kind of follows that one. Little girls losing their virginity at, like, 13. That's ridiculous. Like I just said, hula hooping, jump rope, chalk, outside or something. Not penises. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Ugh. Okay, this one really, really pisses me off. People who use hashtags on Facebook. That shit is for Twitter. Like, if your Twitter is hooked up with your Facebook, like, if you tweet something and it goes automatically to your Facebook, I don't care. Because, like, I don't know. That doesn't get on my nerves as much just because it is technically on Twitter. But if you're on Facebook and you actually use hashtags like, oh, going outside, hashtag, I love nice weather, Hashtag happy day. Hashtag smiley face. Like, no, fuck you. Like, seriously. Ugh. <laughs> this pisses me off so bad. Good lord. <sighs> this one literally made me want to um, punch people in the face when I was in high school. When kids go to school and they skip 
all but like one or two classes. They'll go to, they'll like take all the trouble to get ready for school, and they'll go to school, but then they skip everything, but then only go to like their seventh hour or something. And then they just go home on the bus. Like, what was the point of even getting up? Just drop out of school and go, like, do something if all you're going to do is skip. You're not getting any education anyways. Ugh. All right. <sighs> For this one, everybody should know this. People say different things differently. Like... I don't care if you pronounce something wrong, but, like, this really gets on my nerves. Somebody told me before, it's soda, not pop. No, bitch, I say pop. From where you're from, you say soda. You can say soda. I don't give a shit. I will say pop. You're not going to tell me how to speak. I speak the English. I know what I'm doing here. Anyways. Okay, this one. Uh, hang on. Do I even have enough time on this? I don't even know how long I can record for. It'd be cool if I could have a really long one, but you know what? I'm going to try to wrap it up. Um, when people are fine with lesbians, but they're grossed out by gay guys. Or like, they'll say, oh, homosexuality is a sin, but then go around and watch lesbian porno or something. You can't be okay with half of it and not the other. It's either you're okay with it or you're not. Capiche? Yes. Do you get it now? Do you understand? Probably not, because you guys are fucking retarded. All right. Little girls who get pregnant, or you know what? Actually, anybody, because I think I've seen this on many people's. When they're pregnant and they put works at mommy to be slash full time mommy. Okay. <sighs> That's not an actual occupation. That's not your job. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, I don't care, like, if you do something as a joke, I guess, but, like, you're actually trying to be serious about this. Like, you're trying to make it seem like it is this, like, super hard job and, like, all this other kind of stuff. I, I can't count it as a job. You didn't fill out an application for it. You didn't have to wait for the callback or anything. It's not a job. <sighs> when people paint each nail a different color, that pisses me off. Like, if you have, like, red, blue, green, pink, and yellow or something, that's not cute. Because then it doesn't match any of your outfits. See? See that? All glitter? Yeah? doesn't look fucking retarded. If it's all different colors, yes, you look fucking retarded. Okay. <laughs> I remember this was popular back in, like, 2004 or something. Like, probably later, but, you know, I don't care. When they, like, people would take, um, duct tape and put it over their mouths and take pictures with it and put it on, like, MySpace or something. If you have it on Facebook, you're... You're stupid. You just need to go away. But, like, people used to do it on MySpace, and then they would write, like, a word on it. They'd put, like, liar, love hurts, uh, emo, bitch. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <sighs> okay, this one also pisses me off. Like, I see it all the time when people watch the Harry Potter marathons on, like, ABC Family, because they always have it, like, every single fucking weekend. They put, oh my god, watching the Harry Potter marathon, I am such a nerd. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not a nerd. You're a normal fucking human being. It's a very, very popular series. Like, seriously, you're not a nerd for liking wizards. Hmm. Okay, this one will definitely finish out the video. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry this is so long. Anyways. Okay, look me in the eye right now. If you don't like something I do on, like, say, Facebook or Tumblr or anything, and, like, I say something about it, like, don't go and bash it. Simple as that. Like, I don't care. You can hate on it all you want. Like, say it's, like, a video game or a TV show or something. And actually, this happened recently. I'll just do Glee. I made a status about Glee. 
I had like three separate people go on my status and like just say how much they hate Glee. Like, one, I really, really don't give a shit about your opinion. Like, you can voice your opinion on your own Facebook page. I don't care. They've done it on multiple occasions where they bash Glee. I don't go on there and say, oh my god, but it's such a good show. I can't believe that you don't like it. Oh my god, you're so stupid for not liking it. Nah, nah, nah. I don't do that. Because I'm not an asshole. <sighs> Point being, don't take time out of my day by making me read your stupid comments about how much you don't like something. Because nobody is making you watch this show or read my status or anything. There's the unsubscribe button, there is the unfollow button, there's the defriend button, there's everything. There's no point in staying to just, like, hate on it, because I really don't care. So, yeah. Oh my god, 21 minutes. I am so sorry for taking that much time out of your life. If you actually stayed to watch all of this, I love you. Let's make babies. I'm not even joking right now. Except I won't put works at full-time mommy as my occupation. So, sorry if you were hoping that I would do that. Anyways, um, yeah, before this en ends up going on 22 minutes, good lord. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you very, very much. And, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!